days, there are plenty of safe cars on the road, but a five-star ANCAP rating means nothing if you've got bald tyres. Tonight we look at two factors that seriously affect the safety of your vehicle on the road. When buying a car, look on the ANCAP website, look for a minimum four-star car, make sure it's got as many safety features as, as you can possibly afford in that car. Cars get ANCAP five-star safety ratings by going through a range of physical and very demanding crash tests. Crashes from the front, from the side, we look at pedestrian testing, we look at whiplash, and then we apply the same sort of assessment to all the safety assist technology. We then apply it against our rating scale and issue what will hopefully be a five-star ANCAP safety rating. Young people are overrepresented in crash statistics. We recommend that those people buy the safest car that they can afford. We know that they can't buy a new car, but you can still buy safe cars that are affordable. People looking for a car that maybe can't afford a new one should be looking for ANCAP ratings for vehicles that we rated perhaps three or four or five years ago. They will still have a five-star rating, but they won't have all the electronic gadgetry that you see in vehicles today. But the structures will be so good and the airbag and restraint system so good that they can reliably buy those cars and still be safe in the unfortunate event of a crash. Without a safe car, at very low speeds, you can be seriously injured in a relatively minor collision. In a five-star ANCAP safety rating car, you will have a much greater chance of survival. Consumers should always look to five-star ANCAP safety ratings. Roadworthiness is about keeping the vehicle to the standard to which it was built, keeping things within their wear limits and tolerances. I do my job as a transport inspector because I'd like to have an influence on road safety. I think that it's important to educate people how to keep a vehicle roadworthy. You've got a broken light lens there and uh, also a, uh, your indicator at the back's not working. You can have all the uh, crashworthiness features you like, but failure to maintain the vehicle road where you have good tyres, you'll still get into trouble. So in wet weather, that sort of tyre would be extremely dangerous because you've got no grip against the road. It becomes quite expensive if people don't uh, carry out basic inspections and maintenance on their vehicle. And not only incur a fine, but it's quite dangerous. And I guess a fine would be the, uh, the least of somebody's problem, as opposed to having a crash in an unroadworthy car. The next time you get behind the wheel, ask yourself, how safe is your car? Having a car that's roadworthy and crashworthy is your best chance of ensuring your survival in the event of a crash.